couldn't feel more opposite to what I felt <laughs> when I did the tantrum before. <laughs> right, there you go. Now you can see what I was on about. Great under it. And the building inspector okayed it, so if you've got a problem, go talk to him. Yeah. There you go, look at this. Just an extra 10 minutes and now we've got a nice surface so our blocks won't get all muddy. Um, I've tamped it down a little bit just with the rake, just to give it a little bit of, just a bit of compact, compactness, whatever the word is. <laughs> Not a lot obviously, but it's enough just for us to um, get the blocks set on. And obviously, it's a start as well, it's a start in the slab. Um, my job now is I'm going to bail out all this, which I didn't think was very deep at first, but it's, uh, it's, deep, it's deep enough. So yeah, I'll get the manhole opened up and then I'll start bailing out. It looks like this is a low end here. Because that's not that, that, that must have been where I saw where I thought it wasn't too deep. So I think I must have a big drop off here. Well, it is what it is. The, the amount of concrete that went in here, I'm not surprised. There's a few dips and dips and drops. There's the common man. Get used to lumps in the mortar. Load of. All those wet commons were stacked on top of the cement. Yeah. Every bag of cement is ruined, and I can't afford to go and spend another eighty quid on cement. So. It's a good start for me. They're still wet. And they've been covered for a week. It's because the water seeped through into the cement. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm pissed off. Well, I'll get started on this. Right, there we go. Bit of a puddle there, so we've got a high spot there. We've got a high spot in the middle of that one. But uh, five point, five, over five and a half cube went in there, so it was, um, it was a lot of concrete. Um, it was took a took a while to get in didn't it yeah we'll have everyone saying well you should have got a pump that probably would have been a pump it probably would have been a good one for a pump but we're already 500 pound over budget so that's another 400 pound for a pump so we the lads were okay with the barrier so we were okay with that we weren't going anywhere so right, we've got a little puddle, puddle here so that's our low spot don't need a level to tell you that <laughs> um we can get that with the wet dry vac and we can now start loading out and getting a mix in and setting out which I'll, I'll be doing while Alex gets, um, gets the heavy work do, done. Trying to get the drawer in, tape measure, pencil, and all the gubbins, all the commons around because I've just took them off the cement after you've probably just seen my little tantrum. Um, that was censored for YouTube. So, um, yeah, we're now in a position to get going at five past nine. Not awful, considering we got here late. Hey. Eh? Not awful, we got here late, so... Yeah. Yeah, we could have been doing that. Mind you, it was raining this morning, wasn't it? So it would be filling up as we were getting rid of it. As luckily, as... luckily, we've had that manhole close by to chuck it down. So it's all got away nicely. As long as by lunchtime-ish, we get this thing out of the water. Yeah. And we need to speak to the customer about getting rid of all this. Because obviously we can't build with this here. Hopefully he'll say, yeah, just chuck it in the skip. He doesn't want it digging up and keeping. That thing probably needs to go as well. But anyway, we'll see when he gets back. And um, if you're watching this, I've asked him about filming the job. We've been here three or four days now and I haven't asked him yet. <laughs> I'd better get him asked. Uh, anyway. I think, what we, he, he, I think he kind of gave the okay. He, he asked me what, what the camera was. Oh, did he? Yeah. All right. I said, oh, we're just filming for YouTube. Do you mind? He said, no, I don't mind. So. Oh, cool. 
Hopefully that's, that was his uh, consent, but we can always ask again. Yeah, we'll have to double check. Yeah, you can make out, just make out the old concrete of the conservatory sticking out of our concrete there. So that just, that's the little, that's the last pit that was left in. We had to take everything out except that little bit, which is, again, a pain in the arse. But um, yeah, we're all sorted. Who's on the commons? Just spread out. Just because you're probably best getting your sand in that barrow, we need to get that one. Yeah, we don't need commons at the door. So just spread So everywhere but the door, so mainly the other, this side and this side. Uh, bifold doors here, big window here. So we've got the we've got the length sorted for this. We're probably going to end up getting the steel for that because um, because it's a six-inch cavity. It's a big lintel. Nobody stocks them, and it's a hundred and forty pound plus VAT carriage to get to get a one-off lintel. So um, we've already gone. Uh, we've already put. There's already extras gone on the job, so we can't be going back. Say, asking for more extras. We haven't even put a brick in the ground yet. So. Um, Try and put them on the outside, mate. Same as the trench block. Yeah, we'll put the face brick on the outside as well. But um, the face brick probably can wait for now because we only need them on the left hand side. If we, if we if we get on them, we'll start on the left hand side. Yeah. Where are the commons for? It's trench, four inch, and a common. Oh. Well, I've actually, I dropped it, of course. It's usually a trench in, three, in a block, isn't it? Right, okay. Yeah, so it's a trench and then it's 300 to damp. So it'd be four face on the outside, a block and a concrete common on the inside. Uh, obviously, we're putting, we're putting a seven newton block flat across the door. There's no need for a trench block there because all that goes across there is the brickwork up to damp and the slab. That's it. There's nothing above that, obviously, until you get to the lintel. So there's no way to across that se section, even though it's still got 750 mil. And the building inspector okayed it. So if you've got a problem, go talk to him. Yeah. We're going off building regulations approval here. Yeah, we're just waiting to hear about what they want to do with the vertical damp stroke cavity. See what he says. Yeah. So let's stop talking and let's get cracking. Again. That corner is longer than that corner. That corner is 15 mil low. That middle is 10 mil low. So this corner is higher. Yeah. That's actually 20 mil high. 20 mil high? Yeah. That's where we dumped the last time. I was going to say that's where we had our little last minute dumping. So everything's pretty level. It's just this bit where we've we got the bonus concrete to level ourselves up. So we just spin it around a bit more. Well, that's good news. <laughs> Which, when you consider how much concrete actually went in here, that's good that it's um, managed to get it within the regions. Well, I mean, we've got so that's, the... that's 10 mil higher than that. Right. So that's we've we've set that. That's 15 mil low. That concrete to gauge it's 540, but we've done it to imperial gauge. So 540 is just over 21 inches, so it's nice, nice beds to get us up. So this side is just a little bit tighter, but it's still gauge. Everything's still gauge, nothing too tight, just bar this middle. And it's going to be flat blocks, and the flat blocks run 95 mil, so we'll get that easy across the door. We just want to um, the drawing. We've got a measurement on the drawing, but we're going to try and pinch 50 mil each side. Mm. 
bit bigger and that, that light cancels out the extra 50 mil wide on the cavity so they're not losing the room off the room um, but the, the foot, we're just going to check it's still on the foot and okay if it's too close to the edge of the foot and we're going to have to keep it where it is so let's have a look Spread. That's decent, yeah. Um, that's just another box here, I think. In fact, it's pretty trench blocking. I've actually used a wet dry vac in the corners. So there's a few little very very light puddles knocking off, but the corners are, are actually vacuumed and dry, so obviously we're putting marks on the concrete there. That's probably about it, isn't it? So. This was the low corner, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, gotta pick an inch up there. Right, about two hours later than I was hoping, but we set out, we loaded, mixes in, and we're ready to go. <clears throat> what we've done is we've extended it to 3.7 on the width, pinch 50 mil either side, so <clears throat> that means the internal, they're not losing anything because of the extra big cavity. It's four, four meters projection, so we don't have to do anything with that. The main reason we've done the front is the extra room plus it didn't work brick. We had a three quarter in it, so the reason we didn't want a three quarter in it, it's because we've got a window in this, we've got a panel underneath the window, window, and then we've got a pike above, or gable as some people call it. So we didn't want a three quarter like that all the way up, because you, you can't, you've can't. you got to put your three quarter in the middle. So it's in the middle, it goes right to the top, to the top of the pike. Um, so that's the reason for that. So we've pinched a little bit of room for the customer, and we've got it to work brick, which will look a lot better. So um, that is where we're up to. Mortars on the board, tools are out, and we're ready to go. Oh yeah, the other thing, I've, I've reset the, the laser level to to damp proof, the exact damp proof got us set in, so it's a, it's a true measurement we're using now, we don't have to, we know what we're going after. So that corner is an inch low, we're working the inches on the, up to deep DPC, so I've got to pick up an inch, Alex is probably a little bit less than that. Um, these are big, massive blocks, so we'll easy to pick it up with these. So, um, let's get ourselves set out and crack on. You set your line up like that, Al. Down that side, you can get it square straight away.
you can even afford to tap that down a bit. Be 15. No, it's still a bit low, but I've got 15 mil. The what kind of currency are yeah? Yeah. It's set out. Once you've got those two in, you're away. So I'm just going to put a line through here, run this in. I'm going to get, I'm going to set a block up that end, and get this side running, and then um, we'll aim for the block work in for dinner, and then we can get. I'd like to get the face work corners up, but that's the critical side to get face work up on. These sides don't matter, as we always say. The block work is the floor. Whereas there's no block work across the doors, so the face work has to be in to tamp off. And luckily it's going to be a nice straightforward tamp across like the last slab we did, which you haven't seen yet, which I'm going to start editing tonight. So um, yeah, we're going to go back to time lapse now, we're all set out. So um, see you in a bit. Can I have a couple more spins before you get tracking? I'm just going to keep them turned down until he stops talking. <laughs> the easy one. Merry Christmas, everybody. Slave. For which animal was it slave, wing, or anti shine? And of course, the answer is slave. Believe it or not, that tune celebrates 50 years. 50 years 
And would you believe it? That every year it was launched, it has entered the charts. Needs a level. And you've got a shiny green light. Oh. Look at that. That's floor height. Hmm? That's floor height. There's quite a bit of quite a bit to go in there, yeah. Good job we've got two panels of it. Yeah. Seven and a half blocks for this size. Those be seven. Thank 
Okay. Mate, you can't be up and down because you can bang onto the line because we're camping off this and squeezing off it. Oh, you're, saying that, you're saying that to 2015, Alex? This is 2023, Alex. <laughs> you kept your mouth shut then, I'm glad. <laughs> Now you can see what I was on about. There's no need for anything more than that. You could have even done a block straight up, but it didn't have to be flat. Because all that's holding back is the floor and it's holding nothing but the doors. So um that's how the internals go in. And it's gonna be the same at that end. 660 pillar, so it's a three brick pillar, three brick pillar, three brick pillar, three brick pillar. That's set to the level, that's set to the level. So it's just gone one o'clock which is a bit disappointing so we've got, uh, got our two corners up so now we can get the lines up and get them get all the block work running and then it's a bit of a push to get the face work done then I'm going to try and get the face corner done but I'm really really struggling now I remember last time Alex did all the trench block and um, I was doing something else I can't remember what but laser off uh, yeah in and out just lifting myself out of the trench I can't do it so we haven't got the profiles in the van so I can't just put the profile up on the trench block which would have been ideal but um, it's four courses so I should be able to do a four course corner and I'll get the this return once the line's up I'll do it to the line so we'll see you after dinner. Right, it's two o'clock. Day's just disappearing and we're getting not not very far. Alex has just done that for me. I've just been driving around trying to get a signal to send a message for me another job that I need sorting out. So that's just wasting another 15, 20 minutes. I'm really struggling. People keep asking me, have you hip done? Have you hip done? Well, I'm not getting hip done until next year. I need it doing now. I've had enough now. So, who knows what's happening now? I think, I don't know. We need to be prepping this tomorrow, but we can't get the brickwork finished, we can't prep it. We can't prep it, we can't concrete it, we can't concrete it, we don't get paid. not all fun and games and I'm not going to edit this out myself. Right, I'm going to be on my knees over there on my mat trying to build a corner. 
Right, well, let's get as much of this running as possible. Well, he's got to get all running. So, catch you in a bit.
feel a bit better. I couldn't feel more opposite to what I felt <laughs> when I did my little tantrum before. <laughs> I'm not expecting to get anywhere near this today. Don't forget this was completely flat. Flat start, uh, uh, bu bucket in the wa uh, water for half an hour. Kept getting the um, setting out slightly out, so we kept che checking it, checking it, checking it. We, we, we didn't start properly till nearly lunchtime. No. Because it was like 1 o'clock we went for lunch, so it was like 12 o'clock we made a proper 12, start. 1 o'clock we went for lunch with the block blocking, the trench blocking, and the block across the door. And there you go. So you can show them now what, what I meant about this section not having to be 300, 650 mil wide. That's it. That's all we get from there now. So that from there to there is door. There's your, here's the pillars. That's just got these last two to set, but, and then after those are set, it's completely ready for slab. Ready for getting a lot of stone chucked in it. Yeah. Well, my mindset was is we're not going home till we finish it because <laughs> we uh, we needed a win. We needed a win. And we got um, we got one. Yeah. Once you've got those two blocks in. <laughs> and uh, we had a bit of leftover mortar, so we've uh, been filling up any gaps and cavities. So yeah, tom tomorrow's going to be very cold, but it's going to be nice later, so we're going to spend half a day blitzing it. Just getting all, all the much stones we can chucked in, and then make it make take advantage of the good weather, because after tomorrow, it's scheduled to be bad for the next nine days. So if we get our lot back filled, we can build from that side. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a stretch first thing, get down there. Probably d put some on the inside, turn the skin and just do that overhand first. Because we won't bother whacking at anything tomorrow. And then um, that needs to come out first thing as well. We'll bring the um, saws all. trusty saws all. Yeah. Um, are we... Yeah, staying as well. Is this video continuing or is this the end uh, of, a, of a video? It's done up to dampen it, so... Up to DPCs of a video, I think. Concrete and... Dig. Dig. Digging concrete up to DPC might not be long enough, but do an outro anyway because every video seems to have the generic one done in the room. Well, just in case then, because this this is about to die and we've put all the stuff away, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we appreciate the support. And any additional support, you can always do the super thanks under the video or there's a link to Dad's PayPal in the description, which... It's, it's called the Steve Kennedy Retirement Fund now, <laughs> so I can retire. It's not necessary, but it's very much appreciated, so thank you in advance. This has been Bricklane with Steve and Alex with our little win, and we will see you in the next one.